Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing a recent Ninjago trend that's been kind of taking YouTube by storm. And that of course is reacting to Ninjago content, specifically Ninjago episodes and the intros for some reason. I've seen a bunch of these pop up in my recommendations throughout the past couple of months. A lot of you guys probably have seen these as well on your YouTube feed in some way, shape or form. From what I can figure out, the the main source, the main starting point for this new type of React content comes from a channel known as Seabloom. Now, unlike other reaction channels on YouTube who are either just extremely boring or just straight up leave during the middle of their reaction and rip off people's content, Seabloom here actually has really interesting reactions and as a longtime Ninjago fan, it's fun to see how someone new to the Ninjago scene reacts to older episodes and older content. And I feel like his videos are genuinely good, so feel free to check him out, I will leave a link to his channel down below in the description. Unfortunately, because of the success of the Seabloom channel, there have been several copycats who are now reacting to Ninjago content just because it's somewhat popular in the Ninjago community. And they always have the same style of thumbnails too. Now, Seabloom's thumbnails aren't that bad, but some thumbnails on YouTube from other reaction channels kind of go out of their way to be overly obnoxious with an extremely shocked face in the thumbnail for some reason. I've never been a fan of that type of thumbnail. It just makes me not want to click on the video and avoid the content content altogether. Seabloom's thumbnails showcase his reactions, but it's not over exaggerated and annoying. I've also seen a lot of reactions from the Ninjago community reacting to this React content, with some Ninjago fans calling this content fresh and entertaining, and some Ninjago fans not being happy that Ninjago is gaining more fans and more supporters. I've never understood why Ninjago fans tend to gatekeep content like this. Isn't it a good thing that Ninjago is branching out and reaching more and more people out there? And maybe these videos even bring back older fans who were once fans of Ninjago back in the day, but maybe stopped watching it after a while. And with Ninjago Dragons Rising being a new starting point for the Ninjago series, I think this content is more important than ever. Do I think some people do it better than others? Absolutely. But do I think it's a bad thing that people are reacting to Ninjago episodes on YouTube? Definitely not. I'm sure Lego despises it because of copyright reasons, but honestly, with Lego and copyright, it's always been a big mess. Long story short, this new trend of people reacting to Ninjago episodes episodes on YouTube, I feel like it's only doing good for the Ninjago series. As a longtime Ninjago fan, like I said, it's awesome to see more people branch out and experience Ninjago for the very first time. And with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I will be leaving a link to Seabloom's channel down below in the description. Feel free to check him out. He has a bunch of Ninjago reactions up on his channel. Right now, he is currently watching Sons of Garmadon. And feel free to leave all of your thoughts and comments down below. How do you feel about this new Ninjago trend? Do you like it? Do you not like it? And are you a fan of react content. Leave all your thoughts down below and hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.